Senegalese forces in charge of the Gambian presidential palace. They arrived a day after Yahya Jami went into exile, an area that was off limits except to presidency staff. But today, Gambians can walk freely past and gather in front of its gates. Many are still haunted by Jami's 22-year presence here. Just a few days ago, coming here for many Gambians was unthinkable. Now, residents are within touching distance of what used to be the official residence of Yaya Jame. Now, Senegalese troops are in charge here after disarming Gambian soldiers, but not before large-scale looting. Some of Jame's staff and Gambian soldiers are accused of stealing anything they could following the former president's departure on Saturday. If there is no money now in the treasury, I mean, it's taking us backwards, um, which, is, um, which is bad, in my opinion. I don't know why it happened. Um, but, um, you know, you kind of feel sorry for the Gambian people. You kind of feel sorry also for the government, because they, for the new government, because they come in, um, into office without no money. The city itself is slowly getting back to its feet. At the main market, close to the presidential palace, business is sluggish. People are not coming. People are afraid to come. People in Senegal area are coming to Banjul or Guinea-Bissau are coming to buy from us. So they are afraid to come. So that affects our business. Salifu shows me a large chunk of the market taken over by the former ruler. Days after his departure, Yaya Jami still looms large over Gambia. The parliament still carries his portrait. For many Gambians, it could be months, if not years, before they really believe that the man who ruled them with an iron fist for 22 years is gone. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Banjul, Gambia.